Hi everybody, good morning friends. Welcome to Preschool Storytime. My name's Elizabeth, I'm here at Goleta Valley Library and I'm excited to welcome you to a fun story time that's gonna celebrate two very fun things going on today. Um, so one of them is that February is Black History Month. And so we're gonna read a special story that celebrates Black History. The second one is that today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We're so excited that you've tuned in. Um, we love having you as our patrons and we hope that you love the library. Um, and so our story today is going to focus on a special relationship between a dad and his little boy. And so we're gonna read a fun story that talks about love and loving each other and loving yourself. So let's dive in, okay? So let's get started by talking a little bit about Black History Month. So February is the month we're in right now, and February is Black History Month. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is all month long, we celebrate all the amazing things that African Americans have done in our country's history that were really big accomplishments, amazing contributions, and things that have changed our everyday life. And so we celebrate all those awesome things and all of those amazing people who made those things possible. And so I thought we'd start our program with a couple fun things um, that I have pictures of right here that you might use every day and they were invented by African Americans. So we're gonna celebrate just a couple really fun things that you might use every day. So our first one is the inventor Lonnie Johnson. He is pictured here with a super soaker. When it's hot outside in the summer, do you ever play with water guns and have water fights? Well, that amazing invention was thanks to this African-American inventor, Lonnie Johnson, the super soaker. Um, so that's a lot of fun to use, especially here in Goleta when it's beautiful and warm so many months out of the year. Our second one, what is this? This is something you might recognize. It's a stoplight. And a stoplight has three different colors, right? Red, yellow, and green. Now the red one, what does that one mean? That one means stop. And the green one, what does that one mean? That one means go, 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 go. But the third one, the one that's in the middle, the yellow light means slow down. So our friend Garrett Morgan invented the yellow light and the stoplight. And that makes it safer for us to drive our cars on the roads. And we use that every single day. Next time you're in the car driving around and you see a yellow light, you can say, I know who invented that. That was Garrett Morgan. That's a very important one. Ooh, this next one is really yummy. Mmm. Our inventor, George Washington Carver, invented peanut butter. Now, he invented a lot of other things. But this is one you probably use every, every day if you like peanut butter. Maybe you had some peanut butter on your toast at breakfast time. Maybe you had some yummy peanut butter on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yum, yum. Or maybe you eat it straight out of the jar. <laughs> so this is a yummy snack, peanut butter invented by George Washington Carver. Another tasty treat that I have a picture of. What are these, friends? Mmm, these are potato chips. So the very crunchy, crispy snack that we like today was invented by African-American George Crumb. And this was actually invented hundreds of years ago. I had no idea. So I learned a little bit about potato chips and one of our African-American inventors that we're celebrating this month. So I hope you enjoyed that too. All right, everybody, so we started off with a couple of fun inventions that you might already know about. And now next time you use one of them, if you play in the summertime with a water gun, you have a super soaker fight, or you eat something tasty like peanut butter, you can remember that's just one of the many, many things that African Americans have invented that we get to enjoy every single day. Now for our story today, this is a special book because for a long time, if you opened up a book at the library, you might not see someone who had darker skin in the book. 
And so it's really important for us here at the library to make sure that if you come to the library, you can open up a book and you can find a picture of somebody who looks just like you. So I wanted to share this story with you today because not only is the main character African American, but the author is too. And so friends, when we see people of color reflected in books and we have books written by African Americans and people of color during Black History Month, we like to call it that, and all year we call it this, we call it representation. And so during Black History Month, we try to highlight lots of fun stories and beautiful illustrations and awesome main characters who are African American too, as part of Black History Month. That's kind of a long word, representation. Um, but that means that everyone can see what they look like reflected in the picture that they see in the book. Isn't that awesome? We think so too. All right, my friends, so this story is about a father and son you see right here, and it is called I Am Perfectly Designed. And this is by Karamo Brown and Jason Rachel Brown, illustrated by Anusha Syed. And this book is really beautiful because not only does it fit in perfectly with Black History Month, but it also really fits in great with Valentine's Day. So this story talks about that special bond between a dad and his son that is so special and so beautiful. And it might remind you of a special bond you have with a grown up in your life too. All right, everybody, should we dive in? Let's get started. This is called, I Am Perfectly Designed. And this first page is really beautiful because you see lots of different people on this first page. You see people of all different shapes and sizes and colors and ages. You see people from all over the world and they're represented on this beautiful first page of a book. So they're all at the park. They're all having a really good time. And maybe there's somebody in there who looks like you. I am perfectly designed. First there was you, Dad. There's Dad. Then there was me. And now there is us. That's right. Now there is us. When you first saw me, you said, he is perfectly designed from his head to his toes. And I meant every word still do. When I was a baby, I looked just like you, only I had no hair and you had lots. Now it's the opposite. <laughs> and dad says, so true. The first thing I remember is being carried on your shoulders while you walked all over the city. Remember that? I had such a big baby head. Indeed, Dad says, but your big baby head was perfectly designed for you. Do you remember walking through parks when you were a little baby? Maybe you still do it now, it's so fun. Ooh, I see a pretty moon and some stars. I think it must be nighttime on this page. When I was real little, I thought you could touch the moon. Remember that? We'd sit on the roof and reach for it. One day, son, you'll be big enough to reach it yourself. But until then, it's perfectly fine to ask for help. It looks like they're sitting on the roof, looking up at the moon. Remember when we went as syrup and waffles for Halloween, Dad? <laughs> I do, I do. That was awesome. I wonder what will be this year. <laughs> I love their Halloween costumes. That looks like a perfect costume. How fun. Maple syrup is so yummy on waffles. It's almost like they were perfectly designed for each other. When I run in the park, jump in the park, climb trees in the park, and pretend I am a statue in the park, you remind me I am perfectly designed to explore the world. You are, says dad, and you always will be. Looks like he's having a lot of fun. Oh, look at this page, friends. It looks like they're enjoying a picnic in the park. That's so special and so fun. Sometimes, Dad, when I get mad or sad or confused, you wrap me in your arms. 
I like that. Me too, dad says. And I remind you that you are perfectly designed and wonderful, no matter what you are feeling. Oh, that's so special. When you get upset, does your grown up give you a nice big hug to make you feel better? That's a very special thing. Dad, when I grow up and leave home, will you miss me? Yes, says dad, very much. Will you go into my room and play with my race cars and stuffed animals? You know I will. <laughs> Will you sit on the fire escape and feed the pigeons like we do in the summer? <laughs> Looks like he's playing with some birds. Will you remember our favorite movie? Oh, Dad says he'll feed the pigeons and the sparrows. Will you remember our favorite moves? I will, and I'll invent some new ones too. Do you have some fun dance moves you do with your grown up? Dad, he asks. Will you always think of me? Dad says always. You know what, Dad? What, says Dad? I will always remember walking through the city and sitting on your shoulders. And maybe when you're older and I'm taller, I can carry you on mine because we are perfectly designed for each other. That's right, says dad. The end. In the very back of the book, there's a special letter from the actual real life little boy who wrote this book with his dad. So if you check this out from the library, you can read their special letter, which talks about believing in yourself and remembering that you too are perfectly designed. The end. The end. Good job, everybody. Good job, friends. Well, I had such a fun time reading with you today, learning about a couple of famous Black Americans who invented fun things we use every day, and celebrating a book that shows that stories are for everybody, and it's important that we all get a chance to see ourselves represented in the pages of books. So I hope that that taught you a little bit about Black History Month and what we do this month. And I hope you also enjoyed a fun story that talks about the love we share with our grown-ups, with our maybe mommies and daddies, maybe grandpas and grandmas, aunts or uncles, or any other special grown-up who's in your life. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for story time. We love when we get together, and we wanted to end with a special song about how much fun we have when we get together here at the library. So we're gonna go ahead and sing our story, or sing our song, and if you wanna join in, it's a lot of fun, okay? It goes like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Good job, friends. Thank you so much for coming to our story time today. We love spending some time with you online. And if you want to check out more books about Black History Month or amazing stories that show all kinds of different contributions from Black Americans or just any amazing story that is going to make you feel perfectly designed and celebrate something that's special in your life, come on by the library. We are open for sidewalk service right now. We would love to see you and you can give us a call. Um, we can help you check out some great books right now. Well, we hope you all take care. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Happy Valentine's Day.